Hey everyone, welcome to The Casual Puzzler. My name is Emily. Thank you for tuning into this video, which is another puzzle review. This is going to be for the brand Puzzledly. I've never tried them before. They have a lot of really cool, fun pictures. They have 500 piece puzzles and 1000 piece puzzles. Singular puzzles are around 19 to $22, but they do have bundles, so you can get like up to five puzzles for $69. So they aren't crazy pricey. The one I got is called Pretty Fly for a Cacti. And I would say, I feel like all of their puzzles look like those pictures that you'd find in adult coloring books. You know, they're fun, they're vibrant, and maybe that's their whole theme, but that's what mine looks like. Super fun and vibrant. The box is really simple. I've been actually keeping it on a bookshelf just as a piece of home decor. I love that about puzzle boxes sometimes. And this one you could just like put on the shelf and it just looks really cute while you have like a knickknack or plant on top. This one here is only 500 pieces. It looks really, really fun. Um, there's only a few colors in here, which could go either way. It could be tricky because there's only like literally like six colors in the whole entire thing. Or it's going to be really easy because red can only be in certain areas. So I, so I can probably do my sorting pretty easily. Um, but we are just going to do another overhead video so you guys can see this puzzle in action. If you've missed the first one I did, I'll leave it down below. This time I am going to try to use my actual camera for the overhead shots. I was terrified last time and quality was, it was okay. I had just used my phone, but there's just something about having my really expensive camera with my lens just like hovering over the table. So we'll see how long that lasts and also if the batteries last. I do have three, they're all charged, so hopefully it's enough to finish the puzzle, but we'll just give it another shot and get started. Here is the puzzle that I'm doing, the Pretty Fly for a Cacti by Puzzledly. And then on the back is where all the information is, but it, again, it's really simple. It just has another picture of the graphic in its full picture, because if you see on the sides of here, this is the actual full graphic. And then just some caution stuff, and let's just look what, what the puzzle looks like. So it comes in a plastic bag. It's not resealable or anything. And then it also looks like it has a little poster so we can have the full picture. Here's the puzzle pieces. They are not very glossy, but they're not matte either. They're good finish so I can do it underneath the light with no issues. But all the puzzle pieces are the same shape. They're all just the traditional puzzle shape, which is fine. Um, I would prefer a little variety. All right, let's get into it.
since I started the puzzle. It's been really fun so far. Not having different shaped pieces does make it a little trickier, just because in some sections it's almost like identical pieces. You know, the red and the gold section was a little tricky. This blue section is awful. <laughs> um, but I think I'm doing pretty well so far progress-wise. The pieces themselves are a good thickness. One thing I did want to mention is that the border is actually further out than the picture. So I was having a hard time a little bit when I started the border because I, you don't get the full thing. Um, so that was something also to mention. All right, I'm gonna continue on. Just had lunch and I am good to go. go In case you're curious, this is my current progress. I just have a lot of the green and the blue and just to finish this section. This section has taken me so much, so much time. I did the puzzle. I'm not sure of timing, so I'll put it on the screen or down below somewhere so you guys can see in case you are curious. I really liked this one. I wish they did have some variation of pieces. You know, I, even if it was just all the traditional piece sizes, I think it's, I don't know, that's more my personal style than all the same exact piece. But I really like the image. It gave a little bit of difficulty because the different patterns would make it a little tricky but not so hard that it was impossible i really liked how vibrant it was the pieces were really nice and sturdy i will a few of them were stuck together so a little cardboard did rip a couple times not a lot but just like the back side of it in a couple pieces that didn't cut all the way through in manufacturing but it didn't affect the puzzle at all but that is something to mention in case that is a issue that you don't like but in general i really liked this puzzle would i buy puzzledly again possibly one just because of the box like it's super cute especially on its side to again put like a little knickknack or a plant or something on it so i would actually get it just for like home decor purposes but i did like the puzzle enough that i would purchase again i do recommend them so pros and cons for this puzzle brand i love the image i love how vibrant it was it had some difficulty but oh that being too easy or too hard you know it's a good mix 
I will say my cons is one, the graphic doesn't show the whole border. So the border was kind of tricky because I was seeing pieces that weren't actually on the picture. Also those puzzle pieces kind of being stuck together and the puzzle pieces being all the same shape. So I could see myself buying some more in the future, but definitely isn't my favorite puzzle brand right now. I liked it well enough and I did enjoy it. So that's it from me. What do you think of this puzzle brand? Are you into it? Are you someone who likes all the same piece shape or you're like me where you like some variation, even some really wonky ones. I love ones that have like the crazy shapes. Anyways, thanks so much for coming by today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. I do plan to make videos every single week. So I'd love you to join my little adventure here. But thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.